There are several types of people that come to mind when you think of a security guard on patrol. They're either big and bulky or sometimes a little grandparently. One thing you really don't think of is what's inside of those security guards, you know, besides donuts. Well, now a security force could become complete with guards with wheels as feet. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. There are a million law enforcement officers and another million security guards charged with keeping 328 million people across 50 states safe and secure 24 seven. If that sounds inadequate, it is, but it's more than just numbers. Long hours, sleep deprivation, and mind numbing boredom are some of the real challenges humans face working in the security field. Yet the job still needs to be done. Could AI technology and robots improve efficiency? So an autonomous security robot provides two different tactics to reduce crime. One is to have a physical presence, just to deter negative behavior. The second is, can we get these machines to do 10x to 100x more than a human could ever possibly do? I made my way to Mountain View, California to meet William Santana Lee, CEO of a company called Nightscope to learn more about their innovative roving security robots. So Adam, this is it. Wow. The Nightscope K3 autonomous security robot. Now it's four foot tall, two foot wide, 340 pounds. So think about roaming a mall, a warehouse, a hospital. So I'm seeing sensors kind of all around this. All so there's no around. hiding from the robot. No, between the lasers, the sonar, we've got cameras everywhere, 16 microphones on the machine, and you gotta run 24 seven, including autonomously recharging, right? Wow. The strategy is actually hardware plus software plus humans. Can we get the robots to do the monotonous, computationally heavy stuff that no human could ever possibly do? And then have the guards and officers do the enforcement work and the strategic work that only a human can do. What kind of response do you get from people? We've got all these cameras. Well, the response is real simple. Do. It's this. <laughs> That's the response. So I couldn't help but notice out of the corner of my eye this machine over here. Oh, you this little guy this here? <laughs> this looks incredible. This Beautiful. is the Nightscope K7 multi-terrain. So this is intended to handle much larger environments. Think about eight miles around the perimeter of an airport, 50 miles around a, uh, an Air Force base. Nightscope hand builds each robot with the ability to collect and store terabytes of data, but they don't confront perpetrators. That's still a job for the police. Today we can detect a person, we can detect the person, uh, we can read 2,500 license plates a minute. We can run a thermal scan of the environment. You can also detect any mobile device in the area and use all that information to be able to give an officer or a guard unprecedented situational awareness. And ultimately, what is the goal here? The goal is to see if we can make the United States of America the safest country in the world. And if we're able to just save one life uh, through this whole process, it would have been worth all the effort.